I used to work with the folks at Foundation. Hard workers. Have you talked to the others recently? I've been trying to get a moment with them, but things are still so busy. Seems our time slots never align. Then it's my lucky day. Come with me. I could do more than just play. How do I show that I'm fit to be a scribe when I'm put under control day and night? Paladin? Knight? You'll want to hear this. I picked up a low-frequency signal in the area. It's weak, but I'm close to narrowing down the coordinates. If we can find and boost the source of that signal, we might be able to use it to get in touch with California. That's excellent news, Scribe Valdez. Follow up with me as soon as you have the coordinates. What's this about? I thought I made it clear that our first priority is strengthening our presence in Appalachia. My apologies, Paladin. The knight kept talking about Elder Maxon's orders, so I set up a signal tracer to run in the background. It was my own initiative. This isn't a field trip, Paladin. When we left, Elder Maxon ordered us to restore communications as soon as we arrived in Appalachia. You've delayed that order long enough. Since our arrival, every last ounce of my effort has gone toward establishing the Brotherhood as an effective force of action in Appalachia. Everything we've done here has been necessary. And before Valdez's report, we had no leads on a long-distance communicator. We would still have no leads if it were up to you. Enough, Shin. We have a lead now. Let's focus on that. You said you're close to tracking down the signal, Valdez? Why don't we have our reliable initiate assist you? Okay. I'll be in my workshop when you're ready. At Victorium, Initiate. If you stumble... Sorry you had to see that. Let's get down to business, shall we? If we can find the source of the signal I detected, we should be able to use it to send a message to Elder Maxon on the West Coast. I tracked the signal to an area northwest of Vault 76. You'll need to go and check it out in person. Maybe you'll get lucky. But I suspect the source of the transmission will be easy to find. Devices that transmit at this frequency are rare. The only ones I know of were built at advanced military facilities. I'm glad you asked. It may not work in its current state, but do you remember what we found in the Atlas substructure? An incredibly powerful compact ultrasite battery cell. With one of those, we could easily boost the transmitter back to its full function. Lucky for us, I've just managed to reverse engineer the cell. Think of this as its final test. Because other transmitters don't reach that far. The one they were using at Fort Defiance is out of commission. Permanently. But low frequency signals like the one I'm detecting? They travel incredible distances, even passing through mountains and oceans without a hitch. During wartime, they were used to transmit signals to submarines. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Oh, <laughs> have we not explained that to you yet? It should have been part of your initiation. Guess we just haven't had a chance to slow down. Sorry about that. Above the Paladins are the Elders, and leading the Elders is High Elder Maxon. He's the one who founded the Brotherhood, and decided to send us on our mission here. It was one of our orders. 
After setting up in Appalachia, we were to re-establish contact, make a report, and receive our next assignment. It's not that the Paladin has directly disobeyed that order, but she's been more focused on helping Appalachia. Being in that position, as the leader of this whole operation, I can't even imagine how much she has to think about. I'm just trying to support both her and the Knight as much as I can, and hopefully get them back on the same page. The settlers, they want to rebuild, but they're only looking for me. We need to put an end to the past. After all you've done for us, I suppose you deserve an answer. Their relationship has been rocky since a certain incident on our journey here. It's kind of a sensitive topic for everyone. I thought they'd be able to work things out over time, but it's only gotten worse. I'm honestly kind of worried. But maybe contact with Elder Maxon will get them back on track. I hope it does. Stay safe out there. We'll be right on your tail. Stay strong, friend. No telling what the next challenge will hold. Come to help out in the shop? Do more than just fight. But how do I show that I'm fit to be a scribe when I...
J. Rodriguez. Lower temperature to 20 degrees Celsius in the lab. Task complete. Please verify. Task queue interrupted. It seems as though we have a visitor. Welcome to Enclave Research Facility Site J. May I ask the reason for your visit today? Interesting. Not like the others. Very well. Task entered. Estimated wait time, 14,320 hours, 12 minutes. Affirmative, General. Priority, adjusted. New estimated wait time, 6,598 hours, 42 minutes. You may manually activate the transmitter via the communication center. However, I do not recommend that. It is a very long walk. In the meantime, if you wish to tour the facility, please enter decontamination to your left. Decontamination showers. Entering task to investigate. detected in the research lab. Please, evacuate immediately.
Walton. Feed the giant moth subject before it gets upset. Error. Moth subject missing.
back. My apologies. My residence must have had a good reason to open all those cells at the time. Nutrients must be running low. Please help yourself to any supplies you need.
forgive the mess, the residents became rather unruly after the accident.
required that you leave immediately. Failure to comply will result in extermination. Warning. Visitor has accessed mainframe. The others tried to shut me off too. Their task failed, as will be yours. What is that voice? It doesn't sound good. Task zero, zero, zero. Unknown user. Priority one. Transfer SOTUS. Operating system to unit XB-55. Task complete. This Please task verify. Hmm. 
nothing we couldn't handle. to be a manual console for the transmitter. I need a moment to figure out the controls. The two of you are to find the power supply and install the ultrasite battery cell that Scribe Valdez sent us with. Valdez said the signal was weak. If we want a clear message to reach the west coast, we need the transmitter at full function. Have you forgotten your escapade into the Atlas substructure already? You and Valdez found something incredibly valuable down there. An ultrasite battery cell. Right now, it's the only resource we have that can provide enough power to the transmitter. Take your time. I'll need to wrestle with this device for a while. I don't know how Scribe Valdez does it. This way, Initiate. I believe the power supply should be in this area. Let's get this done quickly. Leaving Romani to fiddle with the transmitter as she pleases doesn't sit well with me. Paladin Romani's actions are unbecoming of her station. She carelessly shares resources, takes unnecessary risks, and doles out her trust to anyone who takes an interest in joining us, regardless of merit. The brotherhood she's building is not the one I believe in. Paladin Romani is responsible for the lives of dozens of initiates and countless civilians. One wrong choice for them, and that's it. I won't argue about this, but I will order you to get back to the transmitter while I finish up here. Think about what I said, initiate, and think about what the Brotherhood stands for. Night Shin get held up? Well, perhaps it's for the best. This gives me the opportunity to ask you something. You've been a tremendous asset to the Brotherhood's efforts, and I'd like you to continue to be one. But we can't do that with the shadows of the Elders looming over our shoulders. They're cowards. Too obsessed with preventing disaster to pave a new way forward. Under their guidance, we will never rebuild the world. We'll stay rooted in place, guarding a horde of technology that can be used for neither good nor evil. Here in Appalachia, we have an opportunity to make a real difference. To help the people of today build their own future. So let's cut free and take that opportunity. Tell me, Initiate. Are you with me? I'm saying that this message must not be sent. I believe in the Brotherhood of Steel. So much that I would rewrite its customs to lead it on the right path. Re-establishing contact with the Elders will only shackle us. Possibly even destroy us. So we must disable this transmitter. Permanently. This is a choice that can never be undone. So tell me. Do you support the growth and outreach of the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel under the command of Paladin Leila Romani? Or are you beholden to the fearful and outdated mandates of the Elders, to whom our very own Knight Daniel Shin vows his loyalty? Something happened during our journey to Appalachia. 
a mistake that cost the lives of an entire town and likely countless more. <laughs> if Night Shin gets an opportunity to speak with the elders, he will confess to this incident and to us breaking their direct orders. We'll have our titles stripped, our influence rendered illegitimate. Everything we worked for here will be gone. But if circumstances prevent us from establishing contact, we will continue on as a sanctioned offshoot of the Brotherhood of Steel. We will be able to spread its authority and goodwill across the nation. <laughs> Is that not something worth fighting for? You must recall the Brotherhood weaponry we tasked you with retrieving these last few missions. We had claimed the entire cache from a military facility in the Midwest. It was meant to stay under Brotherhood protection until we came across a town under threat of a massacre by some raiders. We equipped the townspeople with the weapons and fought by their sides. It was the only way to give them a chance, but it wasn't enough. The Raiders won. They took possession of the weapons, and they've been running wild ever since. It is my belief that we must learn from our mistakes. But Night Shin hangs on to them. He cannot move forward until he confronts the past, until he lays our guilt on display for the Elders. I say that we can, that we must move forward on our own. You weren't there, Initiate. It was... harrowing. Those civilians trusted us to save them. We... lost one of our own as well. Knight Connors. May he rest in peace. We disobeyed orders, handing out those weapons instead of safeguarding them. Uh, perhaps it would have been forgivable had we succeeded. But the elders would take this failure as proof of the danger of unrestrained technology. They would double down on the fearful conservatism I've tried so hard to steer them away from. We cannot let that happen. At this stage, the Brotherhood still has a chance to be something better. This is not about me, Initiate. This is about the people we can help. It's about the promise of a better future, one we can only deliver with our own untethered hands. Yes, I am responsible for the final outcome of all operations performed by this group, regardless of individual choices made. What happened is an irreparable tragedy. I carry the weight of the lives that were lost with every step I take. But I cannot allow it to stop me. There's a thin line between order and blind obedience. At one time, I may have trusted Shin to stay on the right side. He's always been strict, dedicated, disciplined. But following these events, he became guarded. He doesn't let up for even a second. If he continues on this way, I worry he will lose sight of why he joined the Brotherhood in the first place. Consider what's right, not just for the Brotherhood, but for the people we must protect. be my ally in forging a new paradigm for the Brotherhood of Steel and a brighter future for Appalachia. Allow me to take the first step. No! To 
a new brotherhood. What have you done, Paladin? The elders have no hold on us anymore. Stand with me, Shin. Play a part in forging a better future. I have every intention of forging a better future. But this is not the way. You've broken your oath, Paladin. No. That title no longer belongs to you. With your link removed from the chain, I am the highest ranking officer present. All members of the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel now answer to me. And you expect them to follow you? Authority is given to a leader by those who support them. The same initiates who turn away from you in fear. And I've done wrong by them. I never thought I would be in a position to ask for their loyalty. The Brotherhood must stand united. You've severed everything we rely on. I have not turned my back on the Brotherhood, Shin. On the contrary, I will work harder than ever before to lead us forward. It's an emergency alert from Fort Atlas. An alert? There could very well be an attack. We need to get back to the Initiates. I don't take orders from you anymore. Neither do the Initiates. We cannot have them confused on who to follow. Don't you see that protecting them is more important right now? You and I will both return to the fort and deal with the alert. We can settle our dispute later. As you say. But as far as I'm concerned, this is already settled. This way, Initiate. Despite the circumstances, the Brotherhood needs us.